was going to be a simulation of Israeli-Palestinian peacemaking congress. Around 45 high school students are going to negotiate peace to one of the most entrenched conflict in the world. Mao, how was it for you to represent Palestine? I'm, already, I'm an original Palestinian, so it was not that hard to present Palestine, but of course we need to balance between the Israeli perspective and the Palestinian perspective, because I need like to be more into the Israeli perspective, so I want to be extreme on my side, so we can really get, both get into a, a point where we can find a solution for the case and the conflict, because it's really complicated. You are actually building channels under the ground here and you will get into a point that you are going to destroy the Dome of the Rock and the Lakhs in order to go to this point. You know, no, no, you know, this, this is your government. You are just for the Dome of the Rock and the Lakhs in order to go to this point. You are just for the Dome As we decided, the Muslim, the Muslim quarter will be under the Palestinian Authority and the Jewish quarter will be under the Israeli Authority. Did you feel that you need to modify your uh, opinions in order to fit to the to the environment to the environment of the simulation? Yeah, because most of the people that are on the table with me are internationals, and I need to show them the Palestinian side. Like, even though I want to really to stand with the Israeli side, so we can both work together, but we need to like really show our perspectives of view, so we won't lose all the rights for the Palestinians. Uh, which delegation were you in? Uh, I was representing Israeli delegation. You're not from Israel, right? You're not. Uh, you were never involved in the conflict. So how was it for you to dive into this? The main difficulty that I had is to uh, find the right perspective because I had. I am uh, representing Israeli perspective, so I am uh, supposed to get their point of view, and it's a little bit challenging to stand back from what I think and represent this uh, uh, their policy. But I think that is one of the challenges that everyone in peacemaking process should make to ensure that we are not narrow-minded and think only like us, our people think, but also see the points of the other side. We cannot tell our citizens that, that tomorrow they will wake up in Palestine. So, okay, so what I would propose is that Palestine will be established in the right of 67 borders with exception of settlements that are no. continuous to Israeli land. Alright, so why don't you start by telling us your name and where you're from? Uh, my name is Osaid. I'm a Palestinian living in Israel. And you have any key moments that you want to share with us? Uh, I ha we had a lot of key moments in uh, our discussion in my group. It's um, it's very amazing. It's amazing how like we have the opportunity as teenagers uh, to actually sit down and discuss these uh, 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 these topics and these very sensitive topics with people in. Um, uh, uh, students from all around the world. Is a Palestinian society ready mentally to accept? learning about Jewish history, learning about Jewish religion, learning about Jewish culture. Maybe not, but a step has to be taken because it's very easy to dislike or hate someone you don't know about. What is your opinion about this whole uh, simulation? What do you think about it? I honestly really, really like it. Um, I think we should take this opportunity, not take it to granted, because a lot of people, a lot of teenagers in our age, wish to have this opportunity. I was really inspired by the creativity that the um, other sides. We had I had this girl from Albania who brought this amazing idea of like reducing the checkpoints, but also making them bigger, where like um, uh, having the workers who's going to be working there to uh, uh, get to their work inside of Israel faster which or in other parts of, uh, uh, of uh, the West Bank easier which was a great and uh, a great way that she expressed it and a great idea she, that she had especially that she's not even related to the comp she was born and raised in Albania she coming here and like it amazed me how she understood the, the two sides and I had a lot of knowledge about the conflict and uh, having ideas for it. Alright today we have uh, George from China 
Uh, which delegation were you, were you in? I'm representing the delegation of Israel. In my opinion, the checkpoints are essential, but not that. But people cannot be checked that often. I and I agree. And how did you feel about uh, participating in a conference which involves two countries that you're very far away from and uh, you're not maybe too familiar with? Oh uh, yeah, it is kind of funny because um, I know a very little bit about the. Uh, this conflict in the Middle East, because um, when back in China, I the thing I only knew is from the television or you know media. It's all very stereotypical thing, but w when I sit down and I listen to the natives like share their own even their own opinion, and I feel like uh, actually I'm part of it, part of it, and I'm really proud of it, and I have like a, a lot of understanding and have a lot of respect from it. So we have Olivia from Albania in here. Did you feel like you had any struggles or difficulties presenting a country that you're not from and you're not too familiar with or? Uh, not really because that was the the thing that amazed me the most that you used to feel comfortable like I felt comfortable even though I'm not part of it and I saw that both of the sides actually felt comfortable too. And me personally, I'm a person uh, that thinks that uh, having constant aspiration uh, really leads to maintaining a healthy and positive outlook in life. Are you optimistic about the results? Absolutely, I'm really optimistic about the results and I really think that the new generation can actually do something about the situation. Peace means taking into account the dignity of other people and the fact that there are other people who have certain rights.